Digoxin is a cardiac glycoside used in the treatment of mild to moderate heart failure and for ventricular response rate control in chronic atrial fibrillation. In this video, let's find found. What is digoxin? What is digoxin used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking digoxin? How does digoxin work? How to use digoxin? What is digoxin? Digoxin, sold under the brand name Lenoxin among others, is a medication used to treat various heart conditions. Most frequently it is used for atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, and heart failure. Digoxin is one of the oldest medications used in the field of cardiology. Digoxin is in the cardiac glycoside family of medications. It was first isolated in 1930 from the Foxglove plant, Digitalis Lonata. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. In 2020, it was the 237th most commonly prescribed medicine in the United States, with more than 1 million prescriptions. What is digoxin used for? Digoxin is indicated in the following conditions. 1 for the treatment of mild to moderate heart failure in adult patients. 2. To increase myocardial contraction in children diagnosed with heart failure. 3. To maintain control of the ventricular rate in adult patients diagnosed with chronic atrial fibrillation. In adults with heart failure, when it is clinically possible, digoxin should be administered in conjunction with a diuretic and an angiotensin-converting enzyme, ACE, inhibitor for optimum effects. Contraindication. Acute myocardial infarction. Hypersensitivity to the drug. Ventricular fibrillation. Myocarditis. Hypomagnesemia. Hypokalemia. Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. Side effects. Feeling dizzy. Feeling or being sick, nausea, or vomiting. Diarrhea. Changes in your vision, including blurred vision and not being able to look at bright light. Skin rashes. Pharmacodynamic. Digoxin is a positive enotropic and negative chronotropic drug, meaning that it increases the force of the heartbeat and decreases the heart rate. The decrease in heart rate is particularly useful in cases of atrial fibrillation, a condition characterized by a fast and irregular heartbeat. The relief of heart failure symptoms during digoxin therapy has been demonstrated in clinical studies by increased exercise capacity and reduced hospitalization due to heart failure and reduced heart failure-related emergency medical visits. Digoxin has a narrow therapeutic window. A note on cardiovascular risk. Digoxin poses a risk of rapid ventricular response that can cause ventricular fibrillation in patients with an accessory atrioventricular AV, pathway. Cardiac arrest as a result of ventricular fibrillation is fatal. An increased risk of fatal severe or complete heart block is present in individual pre-existing sinus node disease and AV block who take digoxin. Mechanism of action. Digoxin exerts hemodynamic, electrophysiologic, and neurohormonal effects on the cardiovascular system. It reversibly inhibits the NACA ADPase enzyme leading to various beneficial effects. The NACA ADPase enzyme functions to maintain the intracellular environment by regulating the entry and exit of sodium, potassium, and calcium indirectly. NACA ADPase is also known as the sodium pump. The inhibition of the sodium pump by digoxin increases intracellular sodium and increases the calcium level in the myocardial cells, causing an inked contractile force of the heart. This improves the left ventricular ejection fraction, EF, an important measure of cardiac function. Digoxin also stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system via the vagus nerve leading to sinoatrial, SA, and atrioventricular, AV, node effects, decreasing the height. Part of the pathophysiology of heart failure includes neurohormonal activation, leading to an increase in norepinephrine. Digoxin helps to decrease norepinephrine levels through activation of the parasympathetic nervous system. Half-life. 
Digoxin has a half-life of 1.5 to 2 days in healthy subjects. The half-life in patients who do not pass urine, usually due to renal failure, is prolonged to 3.5 to 5 days. Since most of the drug is distributed extravascularly, dialysis and exchange transfusion are not optimal methods for the removal of digoxin. Dose Atrial fibrillation Rapid digitalizing, loading dose, regimen 4, 8 to 12 mcg slash kg, 0.008 to 0.012 mg slash kg, total loading dose, administer 50% initially, then may cautiously give order the loading dose Q6 8 HR twice, perform careful assessment of clinical response and toxicity before each dose. PO, 10 to 15 mcg slash kg total loading dose, administer 50% initially, then may cautiously give one quarter the loading dose Q6-8 HR twice. Perform careful assessment of clinical response and toxicity before each dose. Maintenance. PO 3.4 to 5.1 mcg slash kg slash day or 0.125 to 0.5 mg slash day PO may increase dose every two weeks based on clinical response, serum drug levels, and toxicity. 4 slash IM 0.1 to 0.4 mg Q day. I am root, not preferred due to severe injection site reaction. Heart failure. As per ACCF slash AHA guidelines, a loading dose to initiate digoxin therapy patients with heart failure is not necessary. 0.125 to 0.25 mg PO slash 4 Q day. Higher doses, including 0.375 to 0.5 mg slash day rarely needed. Use lower end of dosing, 0.125 mg per day, patients with impaired renal function or low lean body mass. Safety advice. Digoxin is classified as pregnancy category C. It is unknown whether use during pregnancy can cause fetal harm. Digoxin oral solution, USP is indicated for the treatment of mild to moderate heart failure. That's all the information about digoxin we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.